Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a short video on a topic that I've been trying to uh, study for the past couple of days. And I feel like God's been leading me to talk about it. And the topic is the betrayal of family. Uh, God led me to chapter 9 of Judges 1 through 28. Um, I had to read it a couple of times and kind of dissect it um, just to figure out uh, what God was talking to me about. Uh, so I figured that God was giving me revelation on how some family members will go out of their way to uh, betray their own blood and to be disloyal. Um, some family members will go out of their way to betray uh, and conspire and um, and also God was talking to me about reaping and sowing as well. So um, the main character of this chapter is Abimelech and Abimelech is spending time with his mother's family and he wants to um, be made king over them. However, um, he persuades his mother's family to pick him over his brothers um, from his father's side. Um, and um, eventually his mother's family um, gives in and decides to um, pick Abimelech as king over them. And so what Abimelech and the mother's side of the family did was to conspire against his father's side of the family and to go ahead and kill his brothers. So his brothers were all killed except for one and his name was Jotham. In verse 21, it says, And Jotham ran away and fled and went to Beer and dwelt there for fear of Abimelech, his brother. So he was the only brother that escaped from the hands of Abimelech and his mother's side of the family. And um, so Jotham saw that all his brothers were killed. And so he confronted he confronted um, his mother's side of the family and started speaking these two scriptures. And I'll go ahead and read them, read them for verbatim. Verse 17, For my father fought for you and adventured his life far and delivered you out of the hand of the Median. And ye are risen up against my father's house this day and have slain his sons three score and ten persons upon one stone and have made Abimelech the son of his handmaid servant king over the men of Shechem because he is your brother. So guys, after he confronted his family, um, I believe Jotham decided to let God have his way with Abimelech and his mother's side of the family. And so... Therefore, God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the family that betrayed uh, his father, side of the family. I'll read verse 23. Then God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem. And the men of Shechem dealt treacherously with Abimelech. So... As the evil spirit was sent by God to Abimelech and the men of Shechem, they were both now in contention with one another. So I do feel that Abimelech is reaping what he has sown. Because Abimelech sowed division, now there is division between him and his mother's side of the family. Reaping and sowing. 
I believe that families should be in unity and not try to conspire against one another for evil reasons or for wicked reasons. You have a story in the Bible, Cain and Abel, and how one brother conspired against another brother because he was jealous. And he killed his brother. That is a spirit of murder. God does not desire for families to come against one another, especially when you're bonded by blood. If you have one side of the family, for example, the mother's side and then the father's side, always bickering, arguing, bringing division against one another, it is not going to stand. The Bible says a house divided itself cannot stand. Just for example, a wife and a husband who are divided against one another is not going to stand. There won't be peace in the house. If you have families, both families in a house, arguing with one another, there's not any peace. God wants peace and he wants unity. Family is very important to him. He is a family God. So, There should be no traitors within a family or disloyalness within families, right? Sisters and brothers. So with that being said, I just wanted to talk about this topic of betrayal of family because that's what God was talking to me about. And I don't know, this might be for somebody, but... Family is very important during this time, especially during this time. So um, I'll try to upload more videos, and uh, I want to thank all my subscribers, and uh, I pray that you be well and your families be well. In Jesus' name, amen.